goes without saying that social media has become an integral part of our life. Well, I suppose that many people have more than one social media account to which they are addicted. So it is not unusual to see couples or friends glued it to a small screen with an unconscious grin across their faces, even if during a dinner. Social media has not only been a necessity, but also significantly changed our life. At the same time, it has brought us unexpectedness, perhaps in the most surprising way. Once, I posted a selfie on my WeChat moment without thinking much, because as a matter of fact, I like sharing some thoughts once in a while, or just a photo. Either a selfie or off something on my social media, like many people do. I just wanted to record the moments of my life. Perhaps this is why it is called a moment. Very quickly, likes and comments came in. Then, all of a sudden, some not so pleasant comments popped up, some of which were mockery or seemed to be so. I started to be very upset. What am I supposed to do? Did I do it on purpose or just jokingly but in a friendly way? Confused and overwhelmed, I decided to remove these few people from my contact list. Just when I was about to do so, a thought occurred to me. Scrolling down the screen, I click on, I click on a friend's account, which has many beautiful pictures. While browsing through his post, to my surprise, I saw some unpleasant comments similar to those under, under my post. I was pretty sure that he felt the same way as I did, upset and annoyed. I started to realize that I might also have inadvertently made such kind of comments before, which could also offend others as well. But did I really stop to think while making those comments? No, I didn't. I have never thought about which particular comment was right, was right or wrong. Well, a comment is a comment. Why bother would be you rule to rational? I'm just being honest and ob objective would be my logic. Honestly, I did not mean to offend people. But shooting from the hip, you really miss I did stop to think while making those comments. Not to mention putting myself in others' shoes. I was doing something that I hate the most. This made me think more. The word cyberbullying seemed to be both closely related to us and simultaneously irrelevant. Being related to us means that we all get righteously indignant when reading a news report of any cyberbullying, firmly determined to condemn such behavior with a flag of justice in our hand. Because we are afraid of falling victim to cyberbullying one day if it obstinately and widely exists. At the same time, it is irrelevant because people firmly believe that they will never be bullies. But the question is, is it really so? Comments post on moments are just the tip of the iceberg. The vast network has countless comments which are bothering millions of people. Every comment could be the straw that breaks camel's back. Just as the famous saying goes, no snowflake in an avalanche ever feel responsible. With the excuse of being friend, honest and justified, irresponsible, go as you please comments could possibly be bullied. Certainly. With freedom of speech, everyone has a right to waste his or her ideas. However, haven't we witnessed some online bloggers, even respected ones, shut their accounts down, overwhelmed by floods of such comments? While condemning bullying, each of us could be the bullies ourselves. Our freedom of speech shall by no means at the price of depriving others of their freedom of speech. If that happens, it will be the biggest unfairness I can conceive of. Verbal bullying does not take place only in the virtual world, which is a world of real people. 
Yet we must see that the internet has considerably enlarged its influence and expanded its coverage by eliminating boundaries of time and space. As a teenager, I wasn't able to change it alone. But if all of us, including our parents and friends, are soberly aware of its consequence, we then will behave in a more sensible and responsible way, in both virtual world and for cycle world. So, think twice before posting a comment, but protecting others, we are protecting ourselves. Thank you.